আপনারা দেখছেন টকিং পয়েন্ট সৌজন্যে মাহবুব এন্ড কো অ্যাকাউন্টেন্টস Uh, welcome back. Before we went on the break, uh, we were talking to our guest, Mr. Martin Lum, about uh, cricket, about royalty, about Syria, about so many other things. And Martin Lum is a, an international media consultant, and he has done, uh, produced a number of films for the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. That's right. And uh, last year, he was in Bangladesh uh, a number of times. Uh, once when I was there, we met also there too and uh, we had uh, some very good outings. Uh, Martin, uh, the films that you made, uh, they were about fish fisheries and, and shrimp farming and textile industry, and you also visited the fashion uh, college or that is run by BGMEA. That's right. W what we were trying to do is um, raise awareness outside of Bangladesh mm -hmm. uh, about the, the quality uh, of what is being produced there. And at the same time, it, it, it's, it shows how development help can really make a difference to um, a developing country like Bangladesh. Uh, for instance, with, with the shrimp farming, mm -hmm. uh, in order to, to, to make good foreign capital out of its uh, shrimp products. There is a lot of export of shrimp. Well, there is a lot of export, yeah, thanks to uh, foreign buyers, uh, chiefly the EU and the US, mm -hmm. now being satisfied that the health quality of, of the shrimp that's been exported is, is up to their standard, which they yeah. are. Mm -hmm. uh, shrimps go from now from Bangladesh straight to the EU, straight to the, e to the US, mm -hmm. without any more internal checks by them because they are happy with the scientific health work that's gone on to it ensure the met. quality mm -hmm. and, and that is thanks to a large extent mm -hmm. to the uh, uh, carefully targeted um, aid help that's that's going in from people like the um, UN Industrial Development Organization so they employ um, consultants and scientists who, who train the farmers in, um, mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. safe uh, procedure, uh, staff the laboratories they have, um, chemical and microbiology labs. And now they're well established, running themselves, and these products are, are being exported. Um, now with the same with applies to textiles? Same applies to, to textiles. Um, we, we know the, the recent tragic uh, Incident, events yeah. in, in Bangla Bangladesh uh, connected with the textile industry. Um, that's a terrible blot on uh, everybody's conscience who, who played mm -hmm. any part in that. But what uh, outside assistance I is trying to do I is to show that there is another way of uh, developing and capitalizing on uh, Bangladesh's textiles, but mm -hmm. doing it mm -hmm. in, in a safe, controlled way. That there's no false choice between having um, bad quality sweatshops, as they called, and nothing at all, giving all that sure. work to another country. There sure. is a way of still producing that and still having it as such a big revenue earner and employer for Bangladesh, but doing it safely. And, th and there are some factories, which is the subject of one of the films, where mm -hmm. this is done, where the social compliance procedures are, are very much obeyed, mm -hmm. uh, salaries are, are, are decent, there's good relations between the management and the unions, and the people who work there are uh, content with the, with the way that they are treated. There's a, there's a lot at the stake because Bangladesh is the second largest garment producer in the world. Uh, we have a young population, probably the, the largest young population uh, for a country of that size. See? And we have eager businessmen uh, with the know-how because they've been in this trade for nearly 40, 50 years now. And they are looking after it. And Bangladesh is earning about I think 20, 22 billion dollars every year. See. Yes, and, and Bangladesh doesn't want to lose that by foreign buyers saying, oh, we don't like all about publicity surrounding um, working practices, so we'll take it somewhere else. Bangladesh doesn't want to lose that, but it, it must do more to, to show that it can still produce that quality, it can mm -hmm. still um, have that, that great 
employment, which is lifting people out of poverty. Bangladesh has done extremely well in the last 15, 20 years in raising people out of poverty. And that is due to a large extent to the textile industry. So they don't want to sacrifice all that. But they, but they must respond to the, 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 the great concerns that people have about the way that, that workers' rights are being abused, about the way that uh, terrible accidents like the building collapse, yep. and also we've seen factory fires, yes. those kind of things must be stopped and pe people must be aware the, of those. The, the textile industry has also helped uh, uh, the rural people uh, to come out, like particularly women who yes. have come out, uh, the female... Uh, empowerment it has helped they have become uh, earners for the family and uh, now the, the 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 combined family earning has gone up so they are leading a better life yes and if the industry is continues to be well managed which um well, of which as i say there are good examples of, of part of the textile industry being well managed mm -hmm. if 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 that good management procedure can be projected to much bigger areas of the textile industry that that great progress which you're talking about will grow and will mm -hmm. be sustained mm -hmm. and, and many more women and families will, will be raised out of poverty and and the uh, the spread will will, will go into other areas, not, not just the, yep. the, the factory floor workers, but also the designers, the engineers. We would like engineers. to see some uh, footage from your films. Uh. Good, uh, good. Yes, uh, can we have some footage from the films? Okay, uh, when are we ready, please tell us. Uh, uh, you went to Kulna to, you visited the Shim farm? Yes, uh, it was a, a That's very... A bit far away from <laughs> Dhaka. Well, it is, but I was very, very pleased to go there. Uh, I, I must say uh, I found va uh, Dhaka a very stressful <laughs> environment. <laughs> very busy. For reasons <laughs> that people will understand. Um, let me give you a very quick uh, illustration. I was trying to cross the road, and next to me was a blind man. He was obviously blind. His mm -hmm. eyes were mm -hmm. sunken hollows. He had a white stick. He yeah. was groping yeah. wi with the other hand. Mm -hmm. No car would stop for him. Mm -hmm. He stepped out into the road and people were papping their horns mm -hmm. and, and trying to get past him. Mm -hmm. Completely pointless because the traffic he is moving at, at one mile an hour anyway. But nobody would stop to let this poor man uh, across the road. And that is a, is a measure of how, um, how stressed and, and how people lose their normal senses in, in that kind of uh, high pressure environment. So you go from there, as I did, to, um, to, to Kulna, and a uh, part of that was uh, on, on the road, and suddenly you're transformed into this beautiful Bengali countryside, and, and you're reminded of why you read uh, Rabindranath Tagore. You know, <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a European, I, I, I love reading his stories about simple village life, the, mm -hmm. the courtesies and, and, and the generosity and hospitality of, of village and life. The easy pace Here of it is, life. The e very easy pace. Here it is, right there. You're, you're among it. You know, <laughs> you're, 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 you're mixing with these people. Uh, and, and that is, is such a, a beautiful, refreshing contrast to all, all the stress and the and, and Did the you drive all the way? Uh, we, we flew about halfway and, uh -huh, and, then, uh -huh. and then drove. So, so we were driving for several hours, you know, yeah. enough to... Um, to, 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 to give you an idea. Up. Yeah. And then w when we reached our destination at those shrimp farms, mm -hmm. uh, all the farmers were very eager to... Uh, not only show us the work they were doing, but to take us into their homes and share their food with us. And you talk to people like poor shrimp farmers, and this reminds you, and it's a very salutary um, experience, I think, for anybody who coming from the developed world. You talk to these poor people, and you realize that there are these universal values. Mm -hmm. you know, they want mm -hmm. the same as you. They want their children to have a better life. True. Um, you know, they want to provide enough food for their families. Uh, that, that they they want to see the next generation progressing. Yeah. And, and those are the same that, you know, if you stopped somebody in the richest street in London and asked them, that would be the same thing. True, true. And that was uh, very illuminating. Are we ready now? Oh, okay. Acha. Acha. Uh, when you went to Kulna, you said you drove and you flew. Which, which city you, you touched down when you flew from Dhaka? You remember? Uh, 
I'm going to need some help with the names here. <laughs> well, well, there's an airport about um, halfway between Dhaka and... Uh, when, and I, uh, when, I, when I went to, to, to uh, across the river, see, I, I went by... Uh, I used a, what you call this, uh, a speed boat. See? Oh, yes. And uh, it was like uh, using something so dangerous that I, I told my wife that, uh, why did I come, see, because <laughs> both you and I are here, and nobody knows, see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's um, so dangerous. And, and viewing um, both speed boats and, and, and ferries, um, I have some trepidation when some, I Some when of I the this. rivers are so violent, see. Yes. And they're so worse, they're as, as like, they're like, uh, seas. See. Yes, indeed. I, I have used boats in, in those areas and uh, mm. it, it can be quite scary, especially if you think you're on a boat that is not very well maintained. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and there were only, only, only the, there were three men in the boat, you see, but uh, there were no dogs. So. <laughs> More like 300, <laughs> I think, in most <laughs> boats in Bangladesh. It was a small boat. Uh, uh, what are your plans now, uh, uh, Martin? What are you doing now? Are you doing uh, any more work on Bangladesh? Or uh, no more work on Bangladesh at the moment. Uh, I like to keep a good balance between um, work and um, family your and family and personal um, mm -hmm. uh, projects. Like, uh, I always love going to South Asia, even if it's not for work. Um, I go to... Uh, Nepal quite a lot and recently I was in Nepal to go to Kanchenjunga, way up in the northeast corner. Uh, Tibet on one side, uh, sorry not Tibet, uh, uh, Sikkim on one side, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, China uh, uh, to the north and to, to breathe that wonderful Himalayan air uh, is, a, is a nice contrast to you know, our working lives. So I could be in Bangladesh one day, Kanchenjunga the next day. In your long time with the BBC and overseas uh, postings, which were the best uh, you would consider the best station for you? Um, uh, it's our favourite foreign places are very subjective for <laughs> different people, aren't they? Uh, I always love being in India. I, I, I've had the pleasure of reporting from uh, Delhi and, and uh, more so Calcutta. I mm -hmm. love being in mm -hmm. Calcutta. Um, but sometimes in India, I, I love to go south, and it's like being in a different country. The, the food, the language, the surroundings are very different. So you know, Calcutta is West Bengal, and what is Bangladesh is East Bengal. Yes. You see. Yes. So the culture, the food, uh, the language is the music, the literature is the same. See. Yes. There's a slight bit of difference. Yes. I, I, it's one of my favourite questions for people in uh, in Bangladesh was. Uh, uh, if, if you went to uh, West Bengal now, would, would people tell that, that you were from Bangladesh or would they think you were a, a West Bengal? No, uh, there is a bit of uh, difference. There's a bit of difference in the language, yes, but uh, everything is the same, the literature is yes. yes. The literature is the same, the language is the same, almost the same. I mean, the, like one can say that whether you are from New York or from London, but that is, yes. uh, that is discernible. Yes. Uh, but uh, the difference is not too much. Too much. This, this, yes. this, the similarities are more than the contrast. Yes. 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 Uh, yes, but how do you see during your visits, you saw Bangladesh, you saw uh, West Bengal, you saw India. How do you see Bangladesh? You think, see, how do you see it coming up uh, and in, in, say, next 10, 20 years? How would you think Bangladesh will go? Which way will it go? Uh, I have to be positive about it because my my visits were very much concerned with th th that that part of um, Bangladesh with, with fo foreign help is trying to uplift the industry as a way of um, uplifting <coughs> the whole economy of Bangladesh and you can see progress yep. in those areas so oh, okay okay Okay, thank you very much, Martin, having you with us. And uh, I think NTV and the entire Talking Point team, our CEO, we are all grateful to you for making time and coming all the way from uh, Yorkshire to <laughs> London and London to Myland. Thank you very much. My pleasure. It was a pleasure yes. having you. Thank you. Thank you.